Good. Hey, Mark Warden from the Free State Project here in New Hampshire, checking in for LCLReport.com. You guys need to check it out. It's the cutting edge of new media and liberty. I'm here to tell you, I'm a member of the Free State Project. I know liberty when I see it. You need to come to LCLReport.com. Hi, this is Saida Dina from Lola, and I'll see you guys at Liberty Forum. Hi, this is Taryn Lupo. Welcome to Low Country Liberty Report. Today I'm going to be talking about New Hampshire. The reason I keep talking about New Hampshire is because it is the state that was chosen for the Free State Project. If you don't know what the Free State Project is, it is a group of 20,000 liberty lovers who have all decided to converge onto one state and reduce the size of government. Now you can get a better idea. If you look below in the video response section, you'll see an interview I did with the founder of the Free State Project that'll explain it a lot better if you want to know details. What I'm talking to you today about is the real estate and job market in New Hampshire. So to get that information, because that's a big concern of people, I decided to talk to the Porcupine Realtor, Mark Warden. Here's my interview with him I did at Porkfest. This is Mark Warden, Porcupine Realtor, and Mark is a, also a Liberty Activist here in New Hampshire. Mark, how did, uh, did you move here or were you already here? No, I'm one of the early movers with the Free State Project. I moved from Las Vegas, Nevada in 2007. It's been almost two years. How's the realty market in New Hampshire for people thinking about moving? Uh, as a real estate agent and investor, I've been tracking the real estate market for a long time, both in Nevada and recently in New Hampshire. And it's actually better here than most places in the country. That said, it's not hyperactive, it's not overinflated, but it is very good, it's very active, uh, much better than places like Texas, Nevada, Arizona, and California. The uh, real estate values have stabilized somewhat already here. They never dropped horrendously. They've gone maybe down 25% over the last two years, but they haven't dropped 50 or 60% like other places. And because uh, the unemployment rate is relatively low in New Hampshire compared to other places, you still have a demand for uh, real estate and prices have remained fairly solid. And can you give me an idea as far as the job market? How, how well are porks getting placed out here and finding work? Yeah. When you say porks, uh, not all your viewers know that we're talking about the porcupines, which is the mascot for the Free State Project. And porcupines overall are sort of enterprising and self-sufficient to begin with. So not all of them come here expecting to get a job right away. A lot of them come with money saved up or they know that they can work an honest day's labor for an honest day's pay uh, to pay the bills. A lot of them will live temporarily with other Free State Project volunteers and members and friends, live for uh, free or inexpensively until they land that job and decide where they want to live in the state. What was your breaking point where you said, okay, I've had it, I'm going to the Free State? Did you have that, or was it gradual? I didn't have an aha moment. Uh, I had an aha moment a number of years ago when I became sort of libertarian, which was then I had to pay uh, in federal income taxes at one time. You know, most people just pay a little bit every two weeks or every month with their paycheck, right? So the, that's the beauty and the insanity behind the IRS systems. They chip away every couple months. You don't really notice if it's always 100 bucks here and there. But when you are not an employee and you become an independent contractor, you have to pay one check one time April 15th and that was it I said oh my god I'm paying all this money to the federal government and all they're doing is going to kill brown people halfway across the globe they're not doing anything for me I have no kids in school I don't use public transport what the hell am I doing paying all this money I said that's what got me interested in downsizing government reducing the cost and uh, that was the start of this long slow progression of becoming a libertarian eventually finding about the free state project eventually moving to New Hampshire but for everybody, I understand it's a different uh, trigger that gets them here. For a lot of people, they have to have a job first. A lot of people, they will lose their job where they live now, and that's their trigger. Say, now's a good time to move. Some people worry about schools, that sort of thing. So it's different for everybody. But I've landed in Manchester, New Hampshire, and it's, it's been great. I got into the real estate business right away. I knew it. And I've been very successful working with not just libertarian and free state or clients, but uh, just regular clients I meet through my, my circles in town. If um, someone's interested in checking out New Hampshire, how can they find you to oh, get information? Thanks for asking, yeah. You can go to porcupinerealtor.com. I, I suppose you have an intelligent viewership, so I'm not going to spell all that out, but Mark, <laughs> or you can Google Mark Warden Porcupine Realtor. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think so. I hope so. All right. Thank you very much. Thank so you. I hope you'll give the Free State Project a look, and don't forget Liberty Forum's just right around the corner. You might want to sign up for that at least to see what the people are like and get